Hey YouTube, I got a little quick video here, just kind of an overview of a little project I was working on. Um, I know there's a ton of videos out there, you know, about these uh, trolley systems with a winch and whatnot, but um, just want to give you, a, you know, my build and just a kind of a version of it. Um, see what you think about it, any comments, and uh, uh, so let's just get right into it. Let's, uh, let's flip the camera around and we'll check out the winch trolley system. Okay, so here is the, the setup. So I got, uh, this is a, I believe it's called a strut channel for electrical strut channel for mounting, you know, plumbing or uh, uh, electrical devices onto it. You know, it's just that U-shaped channel. Um, and then what I did is I welded uh, angle iron for each truss. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five trusses that it's connected to. Um, we're looking at about nine feet long is, is the total length of it. Um, got a, uh, just a winch I got off Amazon. Uh, it's, uh, 400 and, yeah, it's 440 pounds with a straight pull and then 880 pounds um, with the, the pulley in it. Also got stoppers at the end of it here. I got a stopper here. And then a stopper at the end, so the winch is coming all the way out. Yeah, it's, um, so each one of each each bracket here, at least focus in each bracket, is bolted or lag bolted to the truss above it. So it's got the truss uh, above it is a two by six truss, so nice and heavy duty. The lag bolts themselves are, are three eighths by three inches long. So it should be plenty enough for what I would ever need it for. Lots of strength there. We got it lag bolted on, on both sides. So like I said, it's all I did is I went to uh, Tractor Supply and got some angle iron and just cut it to, you know, like, I don't know, I think it's like two and a half inches wide and just welded it to that strut channel. <clears throat> so then, uh, Another little piece of it here, I'll get on a ladder and I'll get up in there to see how, what I got up here for it to trolley. So give me one second. All right, so here we are on top of the winch here. You know, this is the, the winch up, up and close here. So it's just got a T-bracket, got two of them. They're just, you know, bolted right to the, the winch base itself. And then up in the channel here, it goes up and we got little bearings in there that ride up in this channel. So for each bracket, there's actually four bearings that just, we'll just, just roll back and forth. Um, on, you know, got these off Amazon. They, in the description, they're rated at, they say that they're uh, rated at 1800 pounds. So way more than the winch is even capable of. So here's a shot real quick at uh, the winch itself. You know, what it's rated for as far as poundage, 440 straight pull, and then 880 doubled up with a pulley. <clears throat> and these are all the specifications for this winch. It's kind of a nice winch, works pretty good. So this is the controller for this winch. Just got an up and down button here, and then this red knob is the emergency stop, I guess. Or if you got some up there and you don't want someone to be you know, bump the up or down, this just kills power to it. To unlock it, you just twist it, pass back out, and the winch works again. So I do got that down. I, I just hold the, the, you know, I got, I got 10 foot ceilings in my garage here. Um, so I just, you know, so I can step back and you can kind of see how far that dangles down. I mean, we've got plenty of room as far as for length on this to reach down to, where it's manageable. I, I pull it, I put it up there with, I just attach the cord, you know, just grab the cord, you know, and just loop it into the hook here and then just run it all the way up. That way it's kind of out of the way when I'm not in use. Um, but I'll, I'll give you a, just a kind of a little clip of how loud the winch is. It's not real loud, in case, in case anybody wants to know, I guess. But I'll run it down. it back up
And then it's got the automatic stop right there. So that is my winch trolley system completed. Um, almost completed, I should say, because what I gotta do, my cord right here is a little short for trolleying all the way back. And I'll slide it back here. You can see it slides nice and easy. And then that cord gets a little bit tight just at the end. So I gotta make it a couple inches longer. I have to make a new uh, extension cable for it. Roll it back. And to its stop. So in case you're wondering what this wire is for here, is for this light. Uh, originally, you can see how I did my lights in here. I just, you know, run the cord over and, and plug it in. Well, I had this light just ran over to this plug and just plugged in like that. Well, I couldn't have that with this trolley system, so I had to run it all the way around and put a little extension in it, actually. So, so that's what that wire is, just for the light. So, I mean, I think this is going to be more than enough for what, I mean, this isn't going to lift nothing crazy, but I think the winch is going to be the, the factor in this as far as weight, you know. I think 800, I think this whole trolley system will hold, you know, 800 pounds. Um, so the winch is kind of the, the limiting factor here. I think all my lag bolts, uh, my angle, no, this angle iron here is, is eighth inch angle iron. So it's nice and thick. My three inch lag bolts, the, the wheels up there, like I said, uh, for the trolley on the winch are rated for 1800 pounds. Um, so everything's kind of overrated as far as my opinion. Um, the winch is the, the less weight, which is good. Um, but I'm no expert. So if you guys got some comments or, um, different way of maybe doing this, this is just kind of how I did it. Get you a different angle here. Um, but it seems to be working good so far. My intention is not to pick up anything real heavy. I mean, the, the biggest thing I'll probably be lifting is, um, you know, I got a, a project to do on my boat. I got to replace the motor, which is a, a 4.3 liter V6. And I'm going to, I'm going to use it to pull, uh, that motor out of the boat, um, which them only weigh roughly, I think 500, 550 pounds. So, uh, I think this would be plenty. So anyway, let's test this. I want to show you a test to see what it's uh, capable of doing. Okay, so let's lift something. Um, so what we got here is a 2005 Suzuki King, King Quad um, 700. Um, now in the, the service manual, it says stock on a dry weight of this four wheeler is 600 pounds. So, it's got about half a tank of fuel in it. It's got to add a little bit there. So of course, it's got all the fluids in it, you know, front differential, rear differential, oil. Um, it's also got aftermarket tires on it. Um, these are mud-like tires, so they're a little bit heavier than a, than a stock tire. So I'm guessing this weighs 650 pounds, maybe even a little bit more than that. I don't, there's no scientific thing. I don't know for sure, but roughly that. So let's do, let's just try to lift the front end on it. See if that, it can do that. So I'm gonna slide the winch forward a little bit here, or back, whatever you wanna call it, try to get a straight lift on it. Now there's no pulley in here, it's just a straight pull. No problem, no problem at all. So let's try one other thing, as long as it's up, is just to slide it. See if it'll, it'll, if it'll roll back. Let's slide it. Now that's about as far as I wanna go, because remember, once it goes too far this way, it unplugs, because I gotta extend that. So we will, as far as it'll go. So we'll roll it back. So let's set it down.
So one thing to kind of note there too is, I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can tell, is the, the winch gets a little bit louder um, when, it's, when it's pulling, but not a big deal. So let's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut the camera off real quick and we'll flip it around to the back and see if it'll lift the back up. Okay, so now you can tell I'm on the, the back rack now. So we'll try lifting up the back and see if it'll do that. No problem. See, like I said, you hit the stopper and I, I can't, I can't move it. Now I still wouldn't. Let me tell you this real quick. Even though that's an easy lift and it doesn't seem to be a lot of weight on it, I would not go underneath that. What you're gonna to wanna to do is to block that up, you know, with, with uh, jack stands or, or something before you go underneath it. So just a little safety tip. Oh yeah, you, you knew it was coming. Let's try to lift this whole thing. Now, right now I got it rigged up just as a straight pull. I, let's just see what happens. Um, if it really struggles or anything, I don't wanna burn up that winch. <clears throat> so if it's really struggling, We'll, uh, we'll put the, the pulley in it and, and lift it again, or try to lift it again. So let's try it, what the heck. Here we go. Holy cow. Look at that. I, I honestly did not expect that. With that, that four other weighs, I'm, I'm guessing 650 pounds. I did not expect a, a straight pull like that. I expected to have to pull a, the pulley in there. So I'm impressed with this winch. So let's try one other thing. Let's try sliding it. I think that works pretty, pretty darn well. I'm, I'm impressed. So let's put it down. Like I said, I don't go underneath it for sure, but you could block it up that way or whatever you need to do. But that tells me that for the, the, the big project that I have for this, the pulling that 4.3 liter V6 out, you know, that, like I said, this outweighs that. So I think we're good. And that'll be the heaviest thing I ever lift with it. So. All right, let's get this thing down before it, so it'll stop twirling. So there you have it, guys. Um, I, one thing I didn't mention is this winch, when you order it on Amazon, it comes with straps. So that strap you've seen me using, it comes with that, and it also comes with another, another strap, kind of like a tree saver strap. So pretty cool, I think it's a good deal. Um, all the stuff that I, that I, that I use to, to build this, I will put in the description of the video, um, besides the lag bolts and that kind of thing, um, that the, the strut material stuff that I used, I just got that from Menards, it was like 30 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks. Um, not that, not that pricey. Um, so I, you know, I won't put that. Well, I might be able to find one on Amazon for you. To I'll just put a link down there for you. But uh, either or I'll just put them on Arge link. Either or doesn't matter. But anyway, so I'll put the, all the the parts list and the material in the description, and um, that's going to conclude this video. If you have any tips or ideas or maybe a way to improve this a little more, let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.